It is Black History Month, and we worked with the Montana Historical Society to gather Helena community members to read pieces written by Montana African American figures. MTN's Alexia Guayo has this week's edition. For this reading, we have City of Helena Mayor Wilmot Collins reading an excerpt from one of Montana's early African American newspapers. We bespeak for our people a bright future. Slowly but surely, the sterling qualities are becoming known. And ere long, the band of prejudice, which overhangs them like a pall, will be dispelled by the light of favorable public opinion. And then will the future blossom and ripen into fruit that would only await our efforts. Mayor Collins' reading comes from the first issue of The Colored Citizen, one of three African-American newspapers to have existed in Montana. This newspaper only came to life for several months in 1894, located in Helena. Hedge in on all sides of adverse circumstances, our people are bound to evolve into usefulness and greatness. Barriers must be surmounted and public sentiments won over in our behalf. Mayor Collins is reading a letter written by James Presley Ball Jr., the editor of the paper. According to the Historical Society, Ball wanted to convince the African-American community to unite behind Helena as the first choice for the new state capital. We ask the aid and cooperation of our fellow citizens in behalf of our people of this enterprise. Just in proportion to the aid received will results be obtained. We launch this venture with no enemies to punish, but very, very much kind friends to favor. In 1894, Helena was going against the city of Anaconda to become the state capital. Now the color citizen had significant influence in the African-American community at the time. In Helena, Alexia Guayo, MTN News. Helena won the capital selection battle by fewer than 2,000 votes out of more than 52,000 votes cast.